Now, let me tell you this, the way I would actually use this is, let's assume that this chicken right here is a mask. I know that's kind of stupid, but when you turn it over, it kind of looks like a mask. You know, a mask is somewhat bulky. I would not use this handheld. I would just open this up, put it right here over the mask, maybe with a little spacer. I would do it like this then turn it on and then leave and I would let this be for at least a minute or something like that. I cannot tell you exact data about this. In the manual it says you need to swipe 10, 5 to 10 times or something like that but what does it mean? You would need a time frame basically. For example, put it over a mask for 1 minute to kill off 99.9% .9 of all bacteria or put it over a mask for 30 seconds and you will kill off 80% of all the bacteria. Something like that will definitely be needed. Check out their website. Maybe they have specific data. Maybe they will add specific data. But yeah, this is how I would use it. Disinfecting masks. Let's go. This is actually a proper use case scenario for this one. In the manual, they're disinfecting computer equipment and stuff like that, keyboards. I think it's better to wipe this stuff, but a mask, you can't wipe a mask. So this thing is actually perfect for just, you know, sticking it over a mask and then you can remove all the viruses. Well, not remove them, you can kill them. You can shred their RNA, assuming this thing works. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose one day. One step in the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog, it is Monday in our day, in our chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is unboxing and reviewing the Sterilumin portable UVC light basically, that's what it is, so let's get it. By the way, all the product reviews right here, watch them all, but before we get started, lock us out to all my subscribers, thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max, so let me try to get back with a sweet, sweet video. Before we get started, if you want to know more about UVC, then check out this vlog right here. My UVC lamp review, Jeremy Seidel UVC lamp review, a super hot topic as of now, getting tons of views, tons of comments. There is a lot of knowledge in this video and you should watch this probably before watching this one because UVC is dangerous, no question about this. And it also says it right here, do not expose eyes and skin. So you have been warned. It is, this is dangerous, not only the light, but also the ozone that this light generates. Now, moving on, check this out, Sterilumin, that's the company and they sent me this thing right here. If you're interested in this product, then check out the description. I will of course list and link this. So, from the front, from the side, it is recommended to swipe up to five to ten times. The box itself is, is not looking too bad. Check this out. Data back here. Data. So this is a UVC LED sterilizing wand. Brand name is Sterilumin, of course. Model is SW5360. There are 16 LEDs in there. Rated input 5 volts, 1 amp. Rated voltage 3.7, so that means lithium ion batteries in there. Charging voltage limitation 4.2, which proves my point. Input interface micro USB. LED wavelength is 260 to 280 na nanometers, which is of course the Jeremy Seidel wavelength. Product size lithium. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm such a G. Yes, it says it right here, lithium battery. There is a battery in there, 200 milliamp hours and it weighs 200 grams. Website link below. Here we go, glorious unboxing. Oh, Ooh, look at that. UV sensor. This reusable card can measure ultraviolet radiation accurately in 10 seconds. That is so cool. Okay, a little baggy. Ooh, I like that. Quality control. A little cable for the power, of course. Manual. All right. And the thing itself. Check this out. Nice. All right. So this is it, Sterilumin right there. This is the USB port right here. Unfolding like this. Pressing, pressing, pressing. No. So let's use a power bank. By the way, this is the stuff that you will get. Power bank. Actually, let's take a look at the manual right here. You will have to pause this. If you're interested, just pause right here. The 
there is a very very dim light. Oh yeah, you can you can barely see it. This light right here. No light and light. Let's just charge it for a while. I will read the manual and I will see you in a bit. This is supposed to be a handheld device, literally handheld. And you operate it like this. You dial in a certain angle and then you swipe it. You literally swipe the item just like that. That is, well, ooh, <laughs> that, that is that is kind of sketchy when I think about it. And also I found out how you took how you can turn it on. But first there is actually an interesting feature in this and it is a switch. Can you hear it? It's very faint. This is a gravity switch and when you basically turn it over it will turn off. It will only work like this. Interesting. Can you turn it on when it's charging? No, you have to press it for five seconds. You can't turn it on when it's charging. Okay, when this light will turn green it, it's fully charged. But you don't have to. Okay, so you point it down, then you turn it on and boom, there it is. And if you just close it up, it will actually stop. You open it up, two, four, five, right? So it has this auto off functionality in there. If you turn it over, then the switch will acti activate and it will get turned off. Switch. Off. All right, this is to prevent you from ruining your own eyesight. Oh, that is interesting. This switch is working really good actually Swiping stuff Two three four five How do you turn it off? Okay, I guess you just you just close it and it will then turn itself off There is no smell of ozone. Let's try this card four five And there we go. I'm not saying that it's not working because of the missing ozone, it's probably just a different wavelength. But yeah, the use actually is you hold it like a wand and then you swipe your items with the UVC. Hmm, interesting concept. These are the LEDs in here, by the way, 16 in total. So yeah, this is just a first impression video. Really, I can't say if this what this thing can do. I have no idea. Turn it on and then you swipe your stuff. That's the thing. And you can't turn it off. You literally can't turn it off. This will need further investigation. I do plan on comparing this thing with my bulb, with just a bulb. The weaker a UVC source is, of course, the longer it will take to actually kill a virus. And to actually operate this handheld is a bit sketchy, in my opinion. When you see the powerful UVC robots in hospitals, when they are moving, when they are active, no one is in the same room, no one is near them. But just the product itself, yeah, it's looking decent. It's definitely looking decent. It's looking kind of girly. It's looking, you know, it's looking pretty beautiful, I would like to say. It kind of reminds me of a hair iron. If you're interested in this product and you plan on buying this, then you should, you know, think about the power that this thing will emit because the less power, the, le the more time you will need to actually disinfect something. There are these big bulbs that have way more power output, of course, but if you just plant this thing somewhere, that, that should be fine as well. Just keep in mind that UVC will shred not only DNA, RNA, but it will also do the same to you, your skin, your eyes. And also the generated ozone is toxic when you breathe it in. It's not a joke, don't be in the same room, good ventilation, all of that good stuff. Stay safe when you, you know, go for something like this. But yeah, I was looking down here because the product is down here. Anyways, smash the like button the way you will see will definitely smash all types of germs and viruses. Bang the bell like pa, to never miss product reviews and check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.